Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Wednesday, August 14th. Former Chicago Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. is heading to prison. A federal judge sentenced the 48-year-old Jackson to 30 months for illegal use of campaign funds. Jackson, who's the son of civil rights leader Jesse Jackson, had pleaded guilty to a scheme to spend more than $700,000 in campaign funds on personal items. The younger Jackson was a Democratic congressman from 1995 until his resignation last November. District Judge Amy Berman Jackson issued the sentence, telling Jackson that as a public official, he was expected to live up to a higher standard. It's been a bloody day in Egypt where government troops have been cracking down on public demonstrations. The demonstrators are supporting former President Mohamed Morsi, who was overthrown by the military. The military's move to break them up has left a reported 149 people dead. It's also led to the resignation today of the country's interim vice president, Mohamed el Baradai. In his letter, he said he could not bear the responsibility for one drop of blood. Most of the bloodshed was in Cairo, where security forces bulldozed two protest camps at the center of the demonstrations. The Obama administration issued a statement saying the world is watching and it's time for the interim Egyptian government to get back on a path of respecting the basic rights of its people. Back home, Hillary Clinton is not a candidate for president yet, but to no one's surprise, she's staying in the political spotlight. Her latest move came this week in San Francisco. Clinton was sharply critical of recent moves on voter rights and race relations. The former Secretary of State, Senator, and First Lady said the Supreme Court struck at the heart of the Voting Rights Act by negating the sections that require some states to get federal approval before changing their voter eligibility laws. Clinton added that anyone who says racial discrimination is no longer a problem in American elections must not be paying attention. Elsewhere on the political scene, Newark Mayor Cory Booker won Tuesday's Democratic primary race in New Jersey. He beat three other challengers, finishing about 40 percentage points ahead of his closest rival. Booker now faces Republican Steve Lonigan in an October election to pick the successor to the late Senator Frank Lautenberg. And former New York Governor Elliot Spitzer, who resigned that office in a prostitution scandal, has a formidable lead in the race to be New York City controller. A Quinnipiac University poll put Spitzer 19 points ahead of his closest opponent, Manhattan Borough President Scott Stringer. Spitzer's lead among African American voters is 47 percentage points. He also leads among men and among women. That's your political news roundup for Wednesday, August 14th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news all day long.